Okay. Let me try sitting this time. What is it that you seek? Where should I start? Let's see. What was New Himuka like when the country was first founded? New Himuka. I will provide information on the country's history. New Himuka was founded 2020 years ago on Earth as a nation of Ark citizens. Ark citizens? Ark citizens? What's that? The title of the colonists that came to Earth from the moon. What? From the moon? Yes. In the beginning, mankind prospered on Earth. But let us take a look at what happened 3,000 years ago. Environmental changes caused by a shift in the Earth's orbit drastically decreased the human population for a period of time. Humans emigrated to the moon and built a city there to ensure the survival of their species. From there, they moved forward with renovating Earth's environment. What are you saying? After the Thousand Year Renovation Project, Earth's environment became mostly inhabitable again. So a group of colonists were dispatched from the moon. They were the Ark. I'm not sure I'm quite getting it. You're saying people moved from the Earth to the moon and then came back down to Earth? Wait a minute, Shit. I can't keep up. <laughs> they dispatched colonists. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you mean that a group of people were selected to leave the moon? That is right. If that's true, then there are still people on the moon, right? What did you say? Huh? The moon watches over you. <laughs> that's still creepy. Oh. What do you think? I gave up trying to understand halfway through. It's so absurd that I almost want to believe it's just a Togetsu fairy tale. There's no mention of it at all in my info network. It's probably just some religious scripture of Togetsu. If colonists founded New Himuka, then the founding father, Yakumo Sumeragi, came from the moon. Um, hang on. Your ancestor came from the moon? If what this vision says is true, all the people on Earth are descended from colonists from the moon. If all that stuff about the moon is true, that means New Himuka is hiding this information. Is there some kind of reason they don't want anyone to know? I'm like high key afraid of the other terminals now. Well, I'm done sitting here. I feel someone watching. No one should be there though. It appears okay. we should really it. Let me give it a try. What is it that you seek? Continuing from before, are there still people currently living on the moon? Um, I cannot properly answer that request. Why not? At this time, all communications with the moon are suspended. So they don't know. Suspended? Oh, the extinction belt. Yes. Due to the effects of the extinction belt, no information from the moon reaches Earth. Huh? But with the extinction belt there, the colonists wouldn't have been able to come down from the moon. They'd be attacked by others. No. When the colonists made their descent from the moon, the extinction belt did not exist yet. It appeared after the colonists came to Earth? Yes, that is correct. We were taught that the extinction belt was born in the spring of extinction. That happened when the nation was founded. The colonists came to Earth, then the extinction belt appeared, and New Himuka was founded. That lines up. That being said, that I am curious if people had abilities it. prior. So the others I'd assume yes. With the extinction belt. That is incorrect. The others suddenly started appearing long after the extinction belt appeared. What? It wasn't at the same time? But aren't others born in the extinction belt? 
The moon watches over you. Oh god. It's actually kind of annoying because if it there's no reason why it doesn't make sense why you need to you just right? switch to a new terminal and it yeah. can't just all be at once. I just can't get myself to believe all of this. How about everyone else? I can't go along with it either, but all we can do for now is accept it and try to get more information. There's one more terminal. We need to learn all we can while we're here. Like, it literally doesn't make sense as to why it needs to be one at a time. Also, what the hell? Okay. Then I'll sit. What is it that you seek? Let me try being direct this time. What exactly are others? I cannot access the information you seek here. Access to Babe is necessary. Babe? So the terminals here can't answer. That may be true, but the vision hasn't disappeared. Also, I'm sure... Isn't it weird that our random questions and the permissions of the terminals all lined up? So, you're saying Togetsu has some kind of plan here? I feel like they're stalling! Do. I don't know what it is. If anything. The reason we came here is to gather any information we couldn't find in Suo or Seiron. Maybe they knew about that? Of course, this could all be made up. But what happens if we match everything we heard to Major General Fubuki's plans? Will we just tell everyone that we came from the moon? There's no proof. They'll laugh us out of every town. You're right. Even if it is true, it was 2,000 years ago. That's ancient history to us now. Yeah, I think so too. We need information to appeal to our current... the people's current sense of danger. I will provide information on current sense of danger. On current sense of danger? Huh? Kunat Gate. The pseudo-black hole that appeared above Kunat Highway. That is called the Kunat Gate. It's talking about that localized gravitational anomaly. There actually hasn't been much news about that. What's dangerous about it? This gravitational anomaly is continuing to expand daily and is expected to consume Earth in the near future. Oh! Yay! What? The Earth is going to be swallowed by the Kunod Gate? The Kunod Gate is expected to expand in response to the power of Yuito Sumeragi. <gasps> it is likely that the destruction of Earth is unavoidable. Why is it mentioning Yuito? The destruction of Earth? And you're saying it's Yuito's fault? That's ridiculous. But there is nothing to fear. All will be saved if you trust in the teachings of Togetsu. Hang on. What about my power? What does the Kunod Gate have to do with me? The Kunod Gate is a trivial problem. The correction of the incorrect universe is essential to create the true future. Souls return to Mother Moon. The moon watches over you. So, to get to faith is all about returning Don't to the moon? It, said bother you. it was probably just trying to scare us. The Kunod Gate. I did indeed hear that hole is pulling in things around it. And if it's growing... It's saying the hole will get bigger and swallow the earth? No, it's dangerous to take that at face value. Yuito, I know hearing your own name shocked you, but this might be a trap. We can't let ourselves be misled. I still think they're still yeah. on this. It doesn't until they true. can trap us in here. But if what they're saying is true, could that be the reason why Kasane tried to kill me? Are you okay? Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm fine. There isn't any proof. But it might be best for me to talk to Kasane, just to make sure. He literally tried to kill you. If I find out that it is indeed true, and the Kunod Gate is linked to my power in some way, what am I gonna do? Technically, it's linked okay, to both of your powers. The terminals. It spawned I after what both this of you. Babe, the last terminal mentioned is. Yeah, I wonder what it meant by that. 
I see you seek information on Babe. <sighs> you scared me. So, can we go see this babe? Please proceed through the door in front of you. Babe awaits. They're just letting Sorry, them? but what is babe? The city computer managing Togetsu. Similar to Arahabaki and Suo. They have something like that? This way, please. This is suspicious. No matter how you look at it. Outsiders would in no way be allowed access to a system on the level of Arahabaki. And you gotta wonder, why would such a small religious group need a computer like that too? Leaving now this place is, is not an option for large us. for a small religious just group. See what this babe terminal thing is. Despite not having seen many of them. There's a huge room on the other side of that door. I can see something. It appears to be a terminal. Be careful. Our communications might get cut off. Copy. We'll get out right away if things look bad. <laughs> it must be Babe. We don't know what might happen. Let's stay on our toes. Okay. They're stacked in the shape of people. And the boxes overhead are swinging like a pendulum. This is, is weird. This the babe terminal? I don't think it is. Yes. This way, Master Yuito. Babe will answer all of your questions. I'm sure you are having difficulty believing all you learned here today. That doubt will turn to belief if you speak with Babe. Please trust in the teachings. The moon is always watching over you. That line. Watcher, do you copy? Nope. No good. This room is cut off from Sinet. Let's get the information we need and get out quickly. We're too vulnerable here. Yeah. Let's start up the terminal for now. Be careful. Oh, I guess there's no vision of Dr. Pope this time. How do we get information out of this? This feels like an SAS. Uh oh. What is. I can't. My body. Stop! What you're doing is too dangerous. Cut the connection now! Can you hear me, Yuito? Kasane? The connection. Babe is trying to take over my brain? Yeah, so it was a trap, still. Yuito. Smart move, Luca, actually. Are you okay? Just physically moving him from the terminal. What just happened? It seems like they were trying to hijack my brain. Thanks for disconnecting me. We have to stop. That believer was acting strange. They might have been after Yuito's brain from the very beginning. Luckily enough, Yuito's all right. Let's give up on the info and get the hell out of here. I guess they made a point yeah. of having everyone else sit at but terminals. Wonder, they'll just let us leave. But their real target was Yuito. Yuito. I forced myself in because I was nearby. Kasane! You're in Togetsu too? Uh, wait, before that, thanks for saving me. Instead of thanking me, why don't you help me? Arashi and the others have been captured. They have? They're being held in some room, but I don't know which one. Are you in Babe's terminal? I want you to try to unlock all the doors in Togetsu from there. Okay, I'll try. What are they doing in Togetsu? No. I don't have time to think about that now. Have someone else sit there. Babe is the computer that controls all of Togetsu, right? 
Maybe it can unlock all of the doors. Why do you ask all of a sudden? Kasane forced a brain talk connection with me. She said Arashi and the others are locked in a room somewhere. What? Kasane's in Togetsu? Is she after you again? No, I only realized I was in danger because she warned me. She wouldn't have helped me if she was planning to kill me. All right. It's unlikely that Kasane or her platoon are working with Togetsu. So something must have happened to them. Luka? We can't let Yuito be taken over. Don't worry. It looks like I can operate it normally. Yeah. When Kasane platoon is all the only one there after you though. We plan to get ourselves out of here. Right. If I just unlock this. <laughs> That's to be expected. But this should let them escape as well. Thanks, Luca. Everyone, let's get out of here. Time to go. Machines? Kasane? Oh. Did she come with Kyoka? No, wait. This is. Hey, quit messing around. Your way out's getting closed off. I'm breaking through. What was it that just attacked us? They look just like Kasane and Kyoka. Design children. So it's not just Kyoka. Kasane is one of Togetsu's design children, too? Can you think of another reason they'd have the same face? Enemies approaching at four o'clock. Reinforcements, maybe. There's no time to talk. Just focus on getting out of there. It does bring the question. Kyoka's design after the Pope. What was Kasane designed after? I don't remember. Let's save. Materials had a limit. Or anything I'm actually so high on that it would hit some sort of limit? Yeah, a lot of bodies are in 53. There it goes. That was super weird. Doesn't look like either of them. And he's supposedly one too. Oh, wait, no, this one. He... Oh shit, I keep missing him.
Sadly, I don't think they give a lot. Because otherwise, it'd just be a good run up and run down that area to get some experience. Doesn't look like anyone's following us. Maybe they gave up. Looks like it, but stay on your guard. I wonder if Kasane's team got out all right. Whoa, other reading closing in. It's a big one. Dead ahead. Uh oh. <laughs> Is this the actual fight I was thinking of that was really annoying? Um, no, that looks like something I don't remember seeing. Oh wait, no. Maybe? Now there are others. Oh fuck, Yuito. Yuito? Are you okay? Bring it down. Not now. No. You, There's no way I can drink you might need to. I'm fine. I can fight. For how long? That ice is like armor. But my power might be able to melt. I sight. Great job, Sugumi. I'll be your shield. Oh, they're using the fire sort of kind of melt it? That's neat. Wet. Hit it back, please. Closer. Next one, yep. Fuck! Cheat!
better now. Sorry I made you worry. Yuito, can you and your platoon hear me? Kasane! Oh, I'm glad you're okay. Are you near us? Yes, but we're closer to Togetsu than you, and we're still running. Let me make a suggestion. You learned something in there, right? Why don't we exchange intel? And we have a lot to talk about. And here I was thinking she wouldn't want to talk. Okay. I was thinking the same thing. Good. That settles it. We'll be waiting halfway up Hiano Mountain. Roger that. See you then. Sorry. I should have checked with you guys first. You're the one Kasane is after. If that's what you want to do, I don't mind. But can you trust her? I told you that she saved me in Togetsu. I think she had a reason for trying to kill me. So I want to talk to her. What are you gonna do if she doesn't want to talk and just not sure her? you'll believe the reason? Then I'll fight. Actually, no. Yuito okay. probably if you say so, would. Commander. He seems to Let's trust down the mountain, without doubt. If I'm right about how she sounded, we should be able to talk. I'm a little worried about meeting up with Kasane. I mean, I hope we can talk to her, but I'm not just going along blindly. But it was your decision. I want to respect that. Yeah. Oh yeah, the annoying Kasane fight might have been here on the way out. They're here. It's all of Kasane platoon. Kasane! Looks like all of you made it out okay. I was able to rescue them thanks to your help. I should be thanking you. I would have been taken over by Babe if you hadn't been there. Hey, Kasane. You're not going to try and kill Yuito again, are you? I already told you. She was the one that saved me. I know. But I want to hear her say it. You have all the right in the world to doubt me. In fact, I don't blame you for it either. Yes, I think it's best to talk for now. We should talk and find a better solution, rather than just forging ahead on assumptions. It took me too long to come to this decision, and I apologize for that. Something's different about you. Can you tell me what happened? Why did you try to kill me? I know this will sound ridiculous, but please hear me out. 
I tried to kill you because I was asked to. By you. Fifty years in the future. Me? Yes. Fifty years in the future? What are you talking about? I completely understand how you feel. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, there's no way I would have believed it either. Do you remember when Captain Seto died on the Kunod Highway, and we saw that strange sight? My time travel power, the red strings, activated. Then we jumped 50 years into the future. What? You went to the future? Red strings. That's right. You said you have dreams about those. It wasn't a dream. I have the ability to travel through time. A power called red strings. And Yuito, apparently you have the same power as well. This is a good shot. Right. I know we both use psychokinesis, but that's not what you're saying. It seems you understand these red strings a lot better than the rest of us. Just where did you get that knowledge? Was that from the future too? Yes, it was. We saw Yuito in the future. He told me quite a lot. He also asked you to kill me. Right. I'll tell you everything I learned in the future. That should answer everyone's questions. Who should I ask first? To go with the Rashi. The thing that appears when the red strings are used is like a device to time travel. That's apparently what the Kunad Gate is. Normally, it appears only for an instant and disappears immediately, but this time it didn't go away. Left open like that, the gate will eventually swallow the world. It was really bad 50 years in the future. Kiyoka? It was when Kasane used the red strings that the Kunad Gate opened. It wasn't just her, though. It was also Yui, though. It was a combination. But when her power activated, it resonated with yours, Yuito. That's why the gate won't close. On top of that, the gate seems to be slowly expanding. And looking at the news we got from Seiron, it more or less matches up. Doing Kasane last. She did. In that world, the Kunad Gate was much bigger than it currently is here in our time. The end of the world. That's what it looked like. It seems that in that future, the gate had expanded so much that nothing could be done to stop it. At first, none of us could believe what we had heard in the future. It was just too hard to swallow. We got some news in Seiron, then a bunch of stuff happened, and now we can pretty much believe it. But I have to admit, it's gotta be hard to believe just hearing it for the first time. The power we both have is actually gravikinesis. It just looks like psychokinesis. When that gravikinesis becomes strong enough to travel through space and time, it's called red strings. I had no idea. AKA about that the either. entire motif of the game, because they're everywhere. <laughs> the Kunan they're on here. The they're kind of on the outfit with the lines and stuff. <laughs> For the SAS. It was already too late in the future, which is why he asked me that favor. He wanted me to kill you in the past, so the Kunad Gate could be eliminated before it got too large. So my power affected the Kunad Gate. I've had a bad feeling since listening to that vision in Togetsu. I can't believe I was right. So you knew? Yeah. I didn't want to believe it, but it's true. So, the me in the future... I guess I just wasn't able to end it myself. How lame. That's not true. The you in that time was great. And you right now is special too. <laughs> I have to admit, I never thought you'd be complimenting me. Thanks. That makes me feel a little better. I'm proud I have the same power as you. That reminds me. How is your brain doing? Has it settled down at all? Yeah, it's fine. I'm getting by. I told you not to worry. Alright, we should exchange intel. 
Then first and foremost, we got some questions, especially about Kyoka. E yeah. Yes, of course you would. Kyoka, are you one of the design children from Togetsu? Yes, I'm a clone made in Togetsu. My genes come from the founder of the Togetsu faith, Dr. Hitoyo Pope. The city is filled with chosen psionics, designed from the same genetic data as me. We are the children of Togetsu. I see. I guess that's why Kyoka and Dr. Pope look the same. And Kasane? When we saw Dr. Pope's vision in the Togetsu facility. I hate to ask this, but if she was one of the Togetsu followers... Yes, Kyoka was a spy. She was spying on Kasane. But that's not the case anymore. She decided to live as one of us. I vouch for Kyoka. She's definitely not our enemy. Yeah, I believe you. What? That was fast. I mean, it was fast for them to retrust Kyoka as well, so... No, that's kind of an embarrassing way to put it. Honestly, I don't know much about Kyoka, so I can't really make this decision myself. But I do know Kasane. I wanted to talk to her to decide what to do. And I thought it was best to trust her. If I trust Kasane, then I trust the people she does. Shiden, there's no need to get so riled up. You know very well this is the kind of person Yuito is. <laughs> just yeah, annoyed just the hell out of Shiden. <laughs> hey, Kasane. If Kyoka is one of the design children, does that mean you are too? Hmm. What? What are you talking about? In Togetsu, we saw design children with the same face as Kasane's. Yes, I probably am. That's a weird way to say it. This is the first I've heard of this. Here to extrapolate? I remembered a little from when I was a child in Togetsu. I remembered Mother. From what I recall, I was told I was one of the design children. It only just came back to me, so it doesn't feel real. That's why I said it like that. Oh, I see. I I'm sorry. It must be a painful memory for you. You look so sad. I I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked. You're very kind, Hanabi. But of course you should have asked. Don't worry about it. And thank you. You're so nice to her, Kasane. Really? I wasn't trying to be. Anyway... Is there anything else you wanted to ask about? He wasn't even yeah, trying to there be. Is. If you know anything about humans coming from the moon, I'm hoping you can tell me more about it. Huh? Did you hit your head or something? Oh, so you guys don't know about this? I feel right. like they do. What he said is true? Y yes. All right. I guess we should explain what we've been told. We learned all of this after looking through Togetsu's archive, so I honestly don't know if we should really believe all of it. But if you were a Togetsu spy, Kyoka, you would know if this is true or not. Yes, that's indeed what we were taught. But if that was also part of the conspiracy, then... Actually, no. It's true. It's all for Kagero? You. What do you mean, Kagero? Sugumi, don't look at me like that. I can't stand it when you look at me like that. Kagero, there's a lot I want to ask you. But for now, tell us about history as Togetsu sees it. Do all Togetsu believers know this? Right, about that. The faith. That's all a lie. Just a way to get Togetsu independence. Besides, the place is mostly made up of design children. I must say, it didn't look like a religious establishment to me. So does that mean that you are one of the design children as well, Kagero? Now, now, I said mostly, didn't I? I'm a colonist from the moon. Get real. Even if there actually were colonists from the moon, that would have been 2,000 years ago. Cryostasis? Yes, exactly. A few dozen colonists are being kept in cold sleep in a Togetsu facility. They wake us up in turns to check on the state of the Earth. And then we're supposed to contact the moon. Uh, hold on. Does that mean you're from the same generation as Yakumo? Look, I don't expect you to believe me right away or anything. 
but it's the truth. The people of New Himuka wanted to live on Earth, so those that wanted to return to the moon made Togetsu. Togetsu doesn't care about New Himuka or Seiron. They're an egotistical lot that wants to return to the moon instead of living on this crappy, other-filled planet. But as long as the extinction belt is there, they can't go back. Not only that, there's news that others are attacking the moon, too. So they got to thinking, what can they do to save their homeland and escape Earth? They need to make it so the colonization never even happened in the first place. Never the even happened. The time travel That's why they try to hijack you. They want to go back in time and negate it all from ever happening. But wouldn't humanity eventually attempt to colonize Earth again and repeat this history? To be precise, the plan is to only take the moon and Earth back in time with a few exceptions. Is that even possible? Taking only a portion of the universe back in time? They believe the Red Strings can do it. They plan to leave records of this timeline's history in the areas that were not taken back in time. So future generations won't attempt to colonize Earth again. Hang on. I'm getting confused. That's so outrageous. I don't know how to take it all in. Whether you want to believe it or not, Togetsu actually managed to create the red strings to carry out their plan. Okay, Kasane. Kasane is the result of that. Although, it's pretty strange how Yuito has a similar power. Let's suppose everything he said is true. That means this isn't really the time to be squabbling over Nuhimuka or Seiron. If Togetsu were to get what they're after, then none of us would have ever existed. No. That's not right. We can't let them succeed. We're all here, trying to survive. Kagero, why would someone at the center of Togetsu's plan reveal all this to us? More proof that Can just everybody kind of sucks. To them as well? Ruining their plan is something I've been working towards since the beginning. That's why I joined them, to get in the way. That sounds great and all, but how are we supposed to believe you? You don't have to. If you've got a problem with me, I'll walk. But I get happens, I'm not going to sit back and let them get away with erasing this history. I left my family on the moon. I won't let them take her existence, too. Kagero means it. I can tell. It's been a long time since I've seen him like this. So please, trust him. Sugumi. Sugumi knows Kagero best. I think we can trust your judgment. Besides, I have a feeling you trust him already. Yeah. If Sugumi trusts him, then I trust him too. And if Blind you face. Him, I do too. Of course, I'll kill him if he betrays us. He's part of your squad of too, course. Kasane. <laughs> I keep making fun of them for being naive, but that's what ends up saving me. If we're going to believe Kagero, then we have to believe all of the history about the colonists from the moon, too. And then figure out what we can do, knowing that. We're stopping Togetsu's plan. That's all we can do. But it's too much for us to handle alone. We need someone who can move nations. Who can you move nations? Are going to ask for help? We're fugitives there. Even so, we have to. That doesn't mean I forgive them for the things they're doing, though. If they know what Togetsu is trying to do, they might realize their terrible actions are all in vain. What if we asked Seiron for help? If they know about the Togetsu threat, they might realize that New Himuka isn't who they should be fighting. I wonder. As far as I know, both New Himuka and Seiron should have a clear understanding about the Moon colonists and their history. On top of that, they're both scheming to survive. At least it's better than nothing. I don't want to just sit here and wait to be erased. Indeed. So, we should split up and give it a shot? Yes, let's do that. Yuito, you go to Nuhimuka. And you go try explaining things to Seiron. Now we're finally after the same thing. Let's do our best. Split up, but working together. And time to return to the hideout. We're still not done. 
Oh, maybe now. Find out so much in Togetsu. This is all so unexpected. All we did was go to Togetsu, but it felt like such a long journey. Good work, everyone. That was a lot to take in. Yeah. It's a bit difficult to accept it all. But I'm glad we know now. The world we normally see is so small, but our horizons have expanded. And now it's clear that there's another world out there. I'm glad we're on better terms with Kasane, too. That's one less thing to worry about. Hey, everyone. About the Kunad Gate. How your power is affecting it? Oh, Haruka let me see Seiron's investigation into it, but the results were the same. At least we know it really is, well, getting bigger. Mm. What if Yuito doesn't use his power? If he avoids combat, for instance? No, I looked at the Kunad Gate investigation papers as well. At this point, I couldn't really find a link between Yuito's specific actions and the gate's expansion. It's just going on its own. What? So it doesn't have anything to do with Yuito? No. You could say that just the existence of his power is affecting it. It's pretty much safe to assume that the gate will continue to expand as long as Yuito lives. Right. I am sorry for how that sounded. But it's probably best that you know since it does concern you. No, I'm glad you told me. Nothing will change if I try to ignore it. If it's like you say, then I don't need to worry about staying out of fights, do I? We do not know all the details about the Kunad Gate, but I think that is correct. What are you thinking, Yuito? I want to ask you all a favor. What is it? After hearing all that in Togetsu, I'd be lying if I said I didn't think that killing me was the only option for us now. But there are still things I need to do. Things I need to learn. We can never say for certain that there is no other way unless we search for one. Just like we didn't know about the moon until we went to Togetsu, there might be a way to stop the gate that we don't know about yet. I'm sure Kasane had the same idea, and that's why she stopped trying to kill me. So, I want you to help me think of a way to get rid of the Kunad gate. Huh, you had me a little anxious for a moment. Of course we'll help you. Gemma's right. That was the plan all along. Don't forget about my info network. I'll find out even the most secret information. This isn't just your problem. No matter what's going on with the world, you have to remember we're a team. Power of friendship. There has to be a way. And I know we'll find it if we look together. We have to save both you and the whole world. You guys. I thought you'd say that, but I guess I was a little worried. So... Thank you. Translate is complete. That's actually two more down then.